G'day, Adrian here for Wollongong TV. Today I'm with Simon Pomfret from Iris Research. Welcome to the show. How are you going? Adrian? I'm really good. That's good. I'm glad to have you here. Um, I'd like you to tell our listeners out there about Iris Research mm -hmm. and what it is you do. Uh, give, give them the listeners an idea of how it all came about and what's involved. Okay. Um, Iris has been around for 30 plus years now and originally was set up to support the region with good business information and economic information and market information. But now we're a full service research organisation going throughout Australia and essentially we're providing information to business so they can grow their business. So at the end of the day, we're not just collecting the data and giving the data to them. We want to make sure that that information or that research, whether it's a survey or some baseline data can help them and support their business growth. So that's what it's all about in terms of what we offer. Okay, so give me an idea of maybe what types of businesses this would appeal to, or maybe what type of businesses you, or maybe can't say what you who you work yep. with. Yep. But let's say, well, I'm in real estate, so yep. let's say if I wanted to come to you, what could you provide for me? I guess. Well, look in terms of your marketing mix is probably what you want to come back to, and if you look at in terms of uh, your customer base, in terms of what are their needs. Uh, so we do, we do a lot of survey, customer satisfaction survey, mm -hmm. uh, in terms of trying to monitor what's going on there. Look at your own business brand, brand awareness. Um, ad, uh, looking at your advertising, so we might sort of work out where is the most effective ways to uh, spend your advertising dollar, right. uh, which is so you're not wasting your money, so you're getting some sort of return there. Mm -hmm. So uh, we also, in terms of the, I suppose, the property area, you know, we can provide you with some good PR research, as I call it. Yeah. So in terms of saying that, uh, you know, this is what's happening in the marketplace and you're, you're sponsoring that and you're co-branding your name with us sort of mm -hmm. thing. So that's another thing that we do for, for uh, various sorts of organisations as well. Yeah. Um, we do a lot of research for some of the bigger corporates mm. um, because they generally have the, the, the budget yes. um, and generally that is around more about uh, their business development so they might be uh, looking at their brand, revaluating their brand, going through a full image campaign, mm -hmm. uh, they might be looking at their customers, looking where new customers are going to come from and also just internal and with staff surveys and culture type surveys. Right. So there's a whole range of different types of activities that we get involved in. Okay, so that's interesting because I guess even if, like you said, there's there's probably budgets that would range, correct, as to yeah. what you get in terms yeah. of your spend, but I guess if you're a new business and you're coming into an area that you're not quite familiar with, this would be a huge asset to have. Well, it's right? a huge asset, but it's definitely for small business for the affordability factor. So we've mm -hmm. got a range of packages um, that we've we put information together depending on you know what your requirements are. But we're very conscious of affordability factor. Mm -hmm. So for a new business, they might be trying to understand and scope the market. So we've got base data there. We can support them in understanding where their customers may be, uh, maybe are where uh, where the best opportunities there are for for their business activities. Maybe helping them with some of their uh, promotional or marketing type activities um, mm -hmm. so we sort of scope a package depending on what that business requires but also in the mindset of what uh, what's affordable for that business. Of course. Okay so well it appeals to a right, wide range of businesses really so if you're established and you want to take a new direction maybe or perhaps you want to get a better understanding because as we know times are changing people's mm -hmm. buying habits or yep. their behaviors are changing so yep. getting on top of this is is quite important but obviously you can tailor that depending on which business is uh, or what they're targeting or how extensive i guess is what i'm getting that they want to go into it yeah? that's correct and um certainly we specialize in trying to understand customer behavior um, so we, you know, we've got a range of types of surveys that we might run uh, on a quarterly basis where organisations that we can get on the back of and maybe just buy one or two questions mm. where they're targeting a specific type of activity that uh, uh, the broader community might be doing, might be their spending habits in accommodation, gotcha. spending habits in retailing areas, online spending, yeah. those sort of things. So try and understand uh, what their general customer behaviour is and that provides that business with the insight of uh, what mm. their potential customers might be doing, which then allows them to sort of develop their marketing mix around that, whether they look at their products, they look at their uh, their, their promotion, they look at uh, where they're distributing their, their products as well. So it's a, it's a full sort of package that we can sort of support their full marketing mm. mix, if you want Fantastic. to call it. 
Okay, so if businesses are out there listening in mm-hmm. and they want to contact you, where would they find you? Well, certainly they can contact us directly. Uh, probably the easiest thing for anyone is just get on the website and uh, type in Iris or the Illawarra Regional Information Service, Iris Research, yep. um, www iris.org.au okay. and that'll give them all their contact information and they can directly contact us. Um, we've got some uh, information on our website, uh, some teaser type information you want to call yeah, it, yeah. to give people some facts and figures that they might be looking at and then if they want to delve into further in terms of maybe commissioning some surveys because generally that's what we are, we're a survey based agency because uh, we're collecting new data yeah. um, but at times we also sort of add value to some existing data sets whether it's ABS or or other government data sets in trying to interpret that data as well. Mm-hmm. Um, but certainly most people have a unique question. So with unique questions, you've got to go out there and ask people or ask businesses what's going on. So uh, give us a call uh, through those means and um, I'm sure we can help them out. Perfect. So I've got to ask you as we wrap up, mm-hmm. what do you love about Wollongong? Uh, well, I've been in Wollongong most of my life. Um, uh, I think in terms of uh, the business community I love because it, it's it's fairly tight, everyone knows everybody mm-hmm. um, and everyone supports everybody yeah. um, and I think that's the key to, to the Wollongong business community. Uh, we've got a lot of capabilities and capacity within this city. Uh, we don't need to go outside this city to bring people in to tell us what to do. So true. And um, I think uh, that's the main thing with, with Wollongong and there's those strong networks that uh, even though we might be in competition at times with various businesses, I think we all understand that we're all here to, to try and uh, grow the region uh, as best we can with our business and it's a great environment, yeah. it's a great lifestyle and uh, it's nice beaches and uh, those sort of things. Yeah. Perfect. Simon, thanks so much for coming on the show. Thanks, It's been Adrian. an absolute pleasure. It has. Cheers. There you go. I'm Adrian for Wollongong TV. See you on the next show.